Hi guys, it's me Aisha and here I am going to share my proposed research workflow that is more sophisticated and focused methodology that I had presented earlier. Here is the proposed methodology workflow. The first step include identification of CD38 related microRNAs by MeDB database. The second step includes investigation of prostate cancer related microRNAs by MeD cancer database. The third step includes the identification of microRNA interaction with other functional genes by using Diana micro tcds tool. The fourth step include the gene-gene interaction analysis by using BioGrid software. The fifth step includes the identification of genes involved in prostate cancer and aging. And I hope I would be able to relate these to the prostate cancer and aging. In the final step, I will design the signaling pathways by using CAG and REACTOM database. How it works? At first, I selected CD38 as a candidate gene from literature review. After that, I investigated microRNA that regulates CD38. And in the third step, I further shortlisted microRNA that are specifically related to only prostate cancer. These are the results of MeDB database that predict 178 microRNAs. So here you can see that this is the target trend that shows the simple serial number. Here is the target score that shows the confident score of that target. And here is the targeted miRNA name. So it starts from 1 and ends on 178. So total 178 microRNA has been predicted by using MeDB database. So from the previous table, I selected these five microRNA that are particularly involved in prostate cancer progression. So here are the name of five microRNA. First one is the HSA, let 7A, 3P, HSA, MIR, 4103P, HSA, MIR, 144, 3P, HSA MAR1297 and HSA MAR1295. And here are the links for the published research papers that shows the involvement of these microRNAs directly in the prostate cancer progression. So after that, I will check the interaction of these microRNA with other functional genes and how these genes are further interacted with other several regulatory genes. After that, I will also predict that how these microRNA support prostate cancer development and progression by designing signaling pathways and surely this work will be done by using bioinformatic tools and softwares and databases for each specific goal in this research study so thank you so much for listening